busted. Custom to walk through customs with. Well, good evening, everybody, and we welcome you ringside. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we're just about ready for action. Diesel's a guy. Remember, double up with a chance. Round number one, scheduled for the championship distance of 12. Teddy, can a shorter fighter in a matchup like this be effective with a power punch, or does he have to reach up too much? So not only can a shorter fighter in this kind of situation be effective, he will be effective if he comes out of a weave with a punch, because now, usually the smaller guy, he's punching down. And when you punch down, you leave an opening. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Diesel! Gotta feel that right there. He was just tagged by a big uppercut. And now he's targeting upstairs. Lands flush with the combination upstairs. The bully's jab can do so much there. He used it well that time. Hover up! Hover up! And now he scores well with a straight right. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then land the counterpunch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Good block by Diesel. Diesel's approach that we Let just saw in that away. last round. Come on. Cannot this is it. You gotta make it His a fight work now. rate has to just move increase, around. doesn't it? Move if he hand. wants to win this fight, if he right, doesn't want go. to just survive. And that is the question. And that is in his mind, in his heart. <laughs> Wow, what an uppercut. Double jab, double jab. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Unable to score with the hook. You know, we only show up when it's time to watch them do their thing for the fight. But they're really working at it day in and day out just to make weight. What's so tough about making weight in boxing? Well, it can weigh you down. I mean, it's a discipline. And all of a sudden, it allows you a trail of excuses. Because now you can start to say, well, gee, you know, I didn't do this. You know, I, I, it's the drudgery of it, and it's the consistency of it. When you have to stay at a weight, and you have to watch that weight, you have to balance it where you're also going to be able to have a physicality when you get in the ring. You don't want to be weak, so you want to get that right balance where... You're disciplined, you get the weight down, but you don't lose that physical edge. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Get inside, get inside. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. That's it, that's it. 
Last 10 seconds. Diesel's probably sitting back Delicious. right now saying, hey, I got everything figured out. Coming off of a sensational round you just saw, he was able to do some serious damage to his opponent. Yeah, you know what really did it was that left hook to the liver, that body shot. You know, that's like going into a restaurant and you get a stain on your jacket, you know, and the stain just doesn't come out. <laughs> you know, you go to your cleavage, it's still there. Those body shots, they don't come out. They stay with you round after round, and they keep doing damage. They keep paying off for you. He's got the benefit of that body work on him. The bully's right hand scores well. Good fundamental work landing the one-two there. The bully's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Gets him with the right hand. Move it! Move it. The bully! Tagged by that powerful hook. He comes back with the left hand again. Comes with the right. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punch. Well, the old times used to say when you're coming in, when you're controlling there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his two laces right there. Diesel's got a cut. It looks like it's below the eye on the cheek, but it's something that needs to be monitored. The bully's right hand scores well that time. Diesel's got to find a way to protect that eye. The cut has worsened. And if it gets any worse, you gotta think this fight is coming to an end immediately. Well, what's gonna matter is when the doctor oh, finally up, gets caught up. up and looks at it is, Joe, not how bad the cut looks or even how graphic it is to the fans out there, but where it's at. The doctor will look to see whether or not it's the kind of cut that if it gets worse, it could actually be physically damaging to his career. Good, solid right hand by Diesel. The bully's ahead on Teddy's scorecard as we take a peek at those scores for the first time here today. Round number four just underway. After three rounds, he finds himself Unload. up just a round, but punches. nothing really to pull away early on. Relax, relax. <laughs> Diesel hit by a power punch. And right from the start, he's throwing the power punches and landing them. I think he has a date he wants to get to it. <laughs> the old one-two scores for him. Halfway through round number four. Side the boy is showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combo. A target on his head, and he places the hook right on it. Right to the belt line. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Oh, what kind of function is this? I mean, he's got nothing on these shots. He's so hurt. You know, his natural instinct is to attack back. Right now, he's got to fight against that natural instinct. Right now, teaching has to come in. You know, instructions from the past where he just covers up and he survives. See how he targets that hook? Pace yourself. <laughs> Diesel's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Okay, listen to me. When he misses you with a punch, counter! Counter! He seems fully recovered to me. Here we are, the start of a new round, and a fighter that got attacked hard in the last round seems as fresh as could be. Well, when you push a fighter, when you push a human being to a dark place, that's when you're going to find out what's bright inside of them, what's great inside of them. And he's responding just that way. 
Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counter punching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. A crushing two-punch combo by Jesus. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Halfway into round number five here. What an impact that left hand just made by Diesel. They're close to him. The bully stumbled back. He just got hurt. Teddy, I think he's going to go down. I think he's down. And bang, and away he goes. Teddy, he goes down, and he was on the outside where he doesn't like to be. Where he shouldn't be, and he paid a price. And somehow, someway, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's going to avoid this opponent like the Black Plague. Keep moving. Keep moving. Combination to the head. Oh, what a huge power punch. That's where you want to be. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. And this round comes to an end. The bully's defense is going to need to shine when he gets back out there. I mean, just look at the close-up of that cut horse. Yeah, he's got to use his legs. You're right, Joe. He's got to get out there and Stay find some time those. for those medicines to work. Goes upstairs with a right hand, left hook combination. The bully's coming out to fight this round after being knocked down in the previous round. Teddy, any idea? Do you think he's recouped enough here? Well, we're going to find out very quickly by looking at his legs. You're going to look downstairs just like you look downstairs in the basement of a house to see whether or not those bricks are in place or whether or not some of the mortar has kind of disappeared and the bricks are a little loose. You want to see if those legs are stable if they're firm. Little head knocking with that right hand. Good job on the two-punch combo by Diesel. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. One, two. One, two. Resourceful one two combo by Diesel. Oh, he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. doing what every trainer wants to see their fighter do. Land punches and punches. The combination land. Lock! Lock! Scores well to the head with the right hand. The bully's got it down pat. Straight is great. Straight punch wins. Yeah, especially when your opponent is standing straight in front of you. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. Look at that combination by Diesel. The bully's able to land a good, solid left hand. And that's the end of round six. What you're seeing in here with these two guys, cut up, swollen, going back and forth, this is why people love the fight game. Because they say to themselves, I couldn't do that. I couldn't fight on it. You're exactly right. If you opened up Webster's Dictionary and you looked for the definition of a warrior, this is exactly what you would want to see. A little head hunting with the right. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. The bully's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Super two-punch combo by Diesel. The 
Foley's really doing a fine job here, Kenny. I know everybody falls in love with the clean, effective punching, but you can make an argument that he's controlling this fight right now thanks to his head moves. Yeah, you know, it makes me think about that legendary story about the old great Willie Pep, the Will of the Wisp. There was a legend that he actually won a round without throwing a punch just by making his opponent miss, just by rich generalship. What an excellent two-punch combo by Diesel. Oh, he turns it over right into a hook. Diesel's got a little something coming back at him. A counterpunch scored. Right on the mark with a hook up top. Diesel's right hand working well that time. He scored well. And we come to the end of the round. Start of round number eight. It's been a good competitive fight so far. You see Teddy's scorecard there. The bully's hoping that somehow, some way, he can gain an edge. What could it be, Teddy? Well, one thing it could be is maybe the corner. Maybe right now the corner tells him, hey, this is how you can separate yourself. On the inside, it's a little bit even. Do a little bit more on the inside. You know, stop that little bit of grabbing where sometimes you guys cooperate with each other. Whoever finds the way to throw that extra punch inside, he's going to get the W. Well-targeted two-punch combo by Diesel. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by the bully. Not able to land the headshot. Nice work, the left hand to the head. The halfway point of round number eight. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. Good return fire that time. Swing and a miss going upstairs. Protecting his head well with his guard. Like that, just like that. That's what I want to see. And that's the end of round eight. Diesel's corner knows the situation here. Yes, we're up in a close fight, but anything can happen that can turn things around and go against us. Keep doing what you're doing. and it does damage. Comes right back at him with a left hand. <laughs> the bully's work rate is very high. I looked at the punch stats and you can see that he's a busy guy. I don't think he's an effective guy, though. A lot of these aren't landing. Well, you have a reason to think that, Joe. Guess what? I agree, they're not landing. Diesel's able to avoid that punch. Very accurate two-punch combo by Diesel. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. to the head. A knifing left hand by Diesel. Straight right, left hook, very nicely done, scoring up top.
bell rings, signifying the end of the round. The bullies, well, he's back in the corner, which is critical in terms of trying to stop the bleeding on that cut. But it's also critical because they need to put forth a new defensive game plan. Yeah, they have to make sure that they buy some time here and start moving their head, using their legs, tying up a little bit, doing anything to kill the clock and not get caught on that cut anymore. Really good work right there, leaving the two punches in sequence by Diesel. Diesel's ability to properly throw and land his combination has been stunning. Kenny, why is he so successful? Because you just said it, he's putting them together. You know, one or two wouldn't land, but he's handcuffing the guy. And the first two punches, they set up the third and fourth. A stabbing right hand comes in by Diesel. Diesel's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Precision work with the left hand by Diesel. Maybe heading towards empty here. Yeah, and I don't see any gas station in the nearby vicinity. He missed with that headshot. together now that's a nice combination blocks that punch and round 10 comes to an end start of round number 11 and I start to question right now how much he has left in him I know this is a close fight as we look at your scorecard it tells that but it doesn't look close when you look at both guys right now no, it doesn't, but it's up to him to find that place. He's found it before. Dig down. This is what it's about now. Dig down and go to it. Parries the punch, puts one in there. Jump on him. Nice. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. The bully's showing a little bit of a defensive shell, but Teddy, I'm seeing punches still getting through and splitting that guard. Yeah, well, that's the problem, though, when you put those earmarks on, but you don't move your head. Some of them are going to get through, and just as importantly, you handcuff yourself, so your opponent is going to stay in there a little bit longer, knowing that nothing's coming back right away. Now he's putting his punches together, the combination upstairs. <laughs> Up top with the right hand. You need to block more. Smart boxing here. Good effective work with the counter punch by Diesel. The bully's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Double jab by Diesel. Diesel swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Good job with the old one-two by Diesel. Up top with the quick hook. Unable to score with the hook. Did you see that? And he crashes to the canvas once again. He's gotten up before. What about this time? to continue this fight is over knockout diesel's fitting end to a very strong night for him